Today we're going to check and replace the O-rings in the hydraulic cylinder of your Gilson testing screen. The Gilson testing screens are rugged, tough machines that will provide years of service if installed and maintained correctly. In testing screens with hydraulic clamping, use a quick-acting hydraulic pump system to clamp and release the screen trays within the unit. If you find your screen trays becoming loose within the separator during testing, or you can't clamp them tight enough for testing, or you have hydraulic fluid appearing on the unit near where you load the bulk sample, the hydraulic cylinder's O-ring may be worn. To check and replace the O-rings in the hydraulic cylinder of your Gilson testing screen, you first disconnect the machine from its power source. Next, remove the pump handle grip. Now, remove the top cover and side covers to the machine and safely set them aside. Note the short electrical wire to the electronic controller. Rest the side cover aside as to not cause any stress on the electrical wire. It's important to examine the interior of the unit while you have it open. Check for leaked hydraulic fluid or excessively worn parts. Reinstall the pump handle grip. If you have a hydraulic fluid leak, first check the hydraulic hose near the leak area. If the hydraulic leak is near the cylinder and the hydraulic hose appears to be sufficiently secured, you need to remove the cylinder to check and replace the O-rings. Now, Clean the interior of the unit as to prevent foreign material from falling into the pump and contaminating the hydraulic oil later. Next, drain the pump system of hydraulic oil by disconnecting the hose from one of the hydraulic cylinders, leaving the other end of the hose connected to the pump. Place the free end of the hose into a clean container at a level that will allow gravity to empty the system of hydraulic oil. Pump the pump handle slowly to drain the hydraulic oil from the system. Now we're going to take the pump cover off the pump. Observe the hydraulic pump in the position of the pump cover. The pump cover is slightly vetted closer to the front end of the pump near the pump handle. Use a marker or other means to mark the front end of the cover to ensure correct orientation during reassembly later. Remove the pump cover assembly including cover, gasket, and screws and safely set them aside to a clean area. If there is sludge in the bottom of the pump reservoir, remove the pump from the machine and clean it out with solvent as described in your operating manual's hydraulic pump section. Next, we are going to remove the cylinder cap. Please note that there is a compressed spring behind the cap, so caution is required when removing the cap. Keep pressure on the cap with your hand as you remove the three screws. Now, release the pressure of your hand slowly so that the compressed spring does not suddenly pop out. Remove the cap and spring and set aside. Next, remove the side access panel near the machine's base. Grasp the lower section of the clamp rod with vice grips. Now, unscrew the clamp rod hex jam nut within the cylinder. Next, pull the cylinder up and off the clamp rod. Use a drift punch to drive each of the three roll pins on the cylinder through the center hole until they all fall out. Remove the cylinder base assembly and the hydraulic cylinder piston. Examine the O-rings and replace as necessary. Now reassemble the piston and base assembly. Make sure the piston is lubricated with hydraulic oil during this process and insert both into the cylinder. And secure 
with the three roll pins. Slide the reassembled hydraulic cylinder onto the clamp rod. Next, install the jam nut and tighten. Unclamp the lower section of the clamp rod and return the side access panel. Now, insert the cylinder spring and place the cap on the spring. Apply downward pressure on the cap as you secure the three cylinder cap screws to the cylinder. Next, reattach the hydraulic hoses. Fill the pump reservoir with hydraulic fluid to within a quarter inch from the top. Once you have confirmed the hydraulic oil is a quarter inch from the top of the oil reservoir, reinstall the pump cover assembly in the same orientation as it was before its removal. Pump up pressure on the hydraulic system with short strokes on the pump handle. Now release the pressure by moving the handle all the way towards the front of the machine. Next, remove the pump cover and add more hydraulic oil, if necessary, to fill the pump reservoir to within a quarter inch from the top. Once you have confirmed the hydraulic oil is a quarter inch from the top of the oil reservoir, reinstall the pump cover assembly. Now we are going to bleed the air out of the hydraulic system. Loosen the connections between the hoses and the cylinders by unscrewing the swivel connections slightly. Pump up the hydraulic system just until oil appears at the loosened connections. Now, re-tighten the swivel connections. Once tightened, pump the hydraulic system to confirm that all fittings are free of leaks. If the fittings leak, use hydraulic joint compound to create a seal between each leaky fitting and the pumper cylinder to which it is attached. Remove the pump handle grip and return the top and side covers. Reinstall the pump handle grip. After fully reassembling the unit with covers installed, run the unit empty for a few minutes. The testing screen should run freely and quietly. For any questions on the hydraulic system of your testing screen or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.